How do you talk to a child about someone who has died? Here is the example. You are getting ready to go to a visitation for a loved one to pay your respects. You don't have a babysitter. Your kid, your child has to come with you. Hmm. What do you do? The first thing you do is you speak honestly with them. In other words, don't lie to them. In other words, don't say they're asleep because they're not asleep. Children are very smart. We don't give them enough credit. And they would be very confused if they walk into a chapel or a room and the feeling, because they're very in touch with environments, feels a little heavy and off. And why is this person in a, a box? And why is there a pillow? They must be asleep. No, they're not asleep. Be honest with them. They are, they are dead. They died. And how do you do that? The caveat is the buildup. Let them know we are going to a place where someone that I know, mom, dad knows, or that you have seen walking on a street, they no longer physically work, they've died. Two, to add on to that, they're gonna have a ton of questions. Be willing to answer them truthfully or as truthful as you know how. I'm not a doctor, I'm a funeral director and embalmer, so I'm not really sure. How did they die? I don't know. Why did they die? Because they died. It's not their time, God needed them more. Those sentiments, although they mean well, that doesn't help a kid. And three, be willing to offer that child, should they need it, support from a therapist. Because you are not a therapist, unless you are a therapist and you're watching this video, to which I tip my hat to you because your works are very, very difficult and delicate. Answer the questions, be honest and truthful with them. It's kind of like the analogy whenever a mom or dad left the family abruptly and they haven't come back in six years. Where's mom? Where's dad? They're on vacation. They've been gone for, the joke is they're not on vacation. They just left. So kids are like, what? They're not asleep. They passed away. They died. Direct. Kids are very smart. They're going to be okay. And it's up to you to have the discipline to say, hey, I probably shouldn't go. Number whatever. When you get to the funeral home and the child does not want to go to the space where the deceased loved one is reposing in their casket, because that happens, I've seen it a number of times, do not make them. Do not make them. There's oftentimes lounges. Us as staff, we would love to sit with them and draw a picture. We have tons of paper. We have crowns. We have markers. We have pens. Do not make them. Do not force them into a space and place where they don't necessarily feel comfortable. Kids are resilient. Kids are intelligent. Kids are incredible human beings. I actually could help you in your Greek journey as well. That's how I would talk to a child about death. I hope that helps.